and his men, other SEAL teams, and the next unit coming in to carry on the fight. But this man that I'm about to introduce to you, this guy has walked the walk. This guy has led troops in battle. He has been through the fire. He has led and proved himself over and over again. This man now stands in front of you to talk the talk. You are now engaged in a battle of ideas. As George Washington said, the battlefield of ideas. This man stands to lead you, to represent you. He is a reflection of everybody here. All you military guys, all you normal people who have military in your family and everyone else who is here, you obviously get it. This man right here is one of the best guys I've endorsed. I believe in him. I put my stamp of approval on this guy. Rocky Rakowski. <laughs> service, Ben, but God bless him. <laughs> I'm kidding. God bless you, Ben, and, and Deborah Lee for, for coming back to Michigan again. A lot of you may not know this, but I'm not, I'm not sure if I didn't hear properly, but they were here just about two weeks ago to endorse our campaign. From the bottom of our hearts, all of our hearts from Oakland County, we thank you. We thank you for your son's service and your son's sacrifice for us. God bless you. That's who we are here in Oakland County. We're people that are grateful, grateful for real service. Real service to the men and women that have served in the military and grateful for those that are actually patriots, not politicians. That's why I've said so many times that we need to elect more patriots and less politicians to Washington, right? More patriots will fill this shopping mall. Take a look around this shopping mall. 80% vacant, closed down. This was a booming shopping hall, a booming shopping mall about 10 years ago. And now what do we have? What do we have to show for it? We can thank the folks in Washington for everything that they've given us. And what have they given us? Absolutely nothing. They forgot that they work for us, not we working for them. And that's the important thing. Folks, I am honored to be standing in front of you because I am one of you. I am one of you. I, I saw a little letter that came from my opponent today asking his supporters, asking his supporters to come out because the race is so tight. And just to give you some inside information, we're actually leading in the polls. And, and being a poll myself, I can honestly say we're leading in the polls. And just, just to let you know, not only are we leading in the polls, but I saw this letter, this email that went out from, from my opponent, and they said, you've got to get out there and vote. You've got to convince those people to vote for me. Folks, I don't want you to vote for me. I don't want you to vote for me. I want you to vote for a better America. That's what we need to do. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's how we serve the public. And come November 3rd, I'm going to ask you to turn the tables. I'm going to ask you to turn the tables, because our job is not done. On November 3rd, we turn the heat up on those that are going to Washington. And God willing, I'm one of those individuals to represent you. Because I don't want to be a congressman. I've never wanted to be a congressman. I wanted to be a representative. I wanted to work with us together as a group. And folks, come November 3rd, the tables turn. And then I ask you to hold my feet to the fire, just like we're going to hold Gary Peters' feet to the fire. And come November 2nd, we're going to send a loud message to Washington. And that message is that we've had enough of them, and it's time to change the way Washington works. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. God bless America. Thank you for all the patriotism you have given us.